So we just don't only smell good around these parts. Our places smell good as well. Come back. We have a huge, hold on one second, candle hole. But you gotta come back. Come back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video of Smell Good with Jenna. I'm, of course, Jenna. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know what you gotta do? Like, comment, follow, and subscribe. And let's get right into it. You heard me in the intro, right? Like, I love candles just as much as I love fragrances. There's nothing like coming home from a long day and it's a little bit darker sooner nowadays and it, it gets a little bit cooler just to come home, get in the, in the bed under the covers and light a candle. Listen, stop playing with me. <laughs> I will definitely be in a dark room under the covers, light the candle like I said, and I will watch some cartoons. Yes, some cartoons, don't judge me. So with that said, I wanted to discuss my little candle haul that I got from Bath & Body Works and Homeworks and do something a little bit different. So let's get right into it. So before we get right into it, I want to discuss the candles that I'm currently burning before we actually get into the haul. It's October. I equate that obviously at the end of the month is Halloween. So I like to burn Halloween themed candles. So all around the place we have Halloween candles burning. So I have... From here, Homeworks, Vampire Venom. I actually bought this last year. I didn't get the chance to burn it. This was, I guess, my favorite pickup of my haul last year, and I wanted to, like, save it. And, yeah, so I decided to burn it today or this month. And this is a really, really good one. I love the packaging from Homeworks. It's really dedicated to details. And, you know, you don't really get this with Bath & Body Works, and I'm not comparing the two, but... There's a lot of attention to detail, and it seems like they stick to the same packaging for their candles because they have it this year, and it's the same exact, you know, image around the candle. So that's pretty cool. And the notes we have, uh, let's see what we have. Black cherry, midnight blackberry, pomegranate, and patchouli. I will say for a four-way candle, I mentioned this last year, I don't, like one of my first videos, ironically, that I... I've done for smell good I find that like the four-way candle I, I, if it should the throw should be amazing right especially in a small small space like a, a bedroom and I don't necessarily find the throw for this particular one and another one that I mentioned that amazing but it still sp smells pretty good and you know I I really enjoy it so if you haven't already from Homeworks, check out Vampire Venom. So we have Ghoul Fiend. This is another one that I purchased last year that I actually didn't finish burning. So I'm finishing it up this year. But this is from Bath & Body Works. This one is really, really good. It has the notes of dark strawberries, ghost peony, and spice chilling citrus. The throw on this is really, really, really good. I would have bought this this year but i have so many candles that i really haven't gone through and i don't want to sit here and stock up on things and then they just sit there because that's the case with my candles i have a lot of candles that i haven't even gone through yet and just buying and buying buying and not getting to the ones i have so i wanted to finish this up but this is something i would definitely pick up every year for halloween what else what else am i burning we're also burning vampire blood this one i'm not too too crazy about it's probably something i probably wouldn't pick up again but still good it's another halloween candle it has blood red strawberry midnight blooming blooming jasmine excuse me and dark trevanian plum like i said you can see like it's not hasn't been burned too too much but i'm trying to get through it it's pretty good and the throw is really good too the halloween candles i gotta give it to bath and body works the throw is pretty good so if you haven't checked out their Halloween collection at Bath & Body Works, it's still currently there. And I think there's a sale going on for like $14.99 or so. Depending when I, I release this, it'd probably be a whole different sale. But definitely, obviously, check it out if you haven't already. So now that we got what I'm currently burning out of the way, let's actually get into the haul. I didn't buy too, too many different scents, actually. I just kind of stuck to what I really, really enjoy. Because I realized when I first really started getting heavy into purchasing candles, I was buying this that smells 
that I thought smells good and this, 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 that, and the third. And I realized there's certain scents that I don't necessarily care for to, that's burning. Like, although I love a cinnamon fragrance, I don't care to smell that in my house. It's weird. I'm not a pumpkin girly. I'm not, I don't like gourmand scented candles like I do in, in fragrances. So I didn't go too, too crazy and just with the different options they have stuck to what I really know or really like rather. So we'll discuss that. First up, we have coffee and whiskey. This is one that I'm currently burning as well, but I'm burning this in the kitchen. I love, if you've seen my other videos and or following me on Instagram or TikTok, TikTok smell good with Jenna, by the way. I've been mentioning I'm obsessed with coffee and looking for the perfect coffee fragrance. And I don't think I've come across one yet in particular, but coffee and whiskey is actually a really, really good line from Bath and Body Works that I use for my, like the body care and to layer and get that coffee base going. That I really think is a really good coffee for Bath and Body Works, right? So I love the candle. I think this is beautiful to burn in a kitchen just to get that coffee first thing in the morning type of vibes. I might even, I had bought two of these. I might actually even burn it for my bedroom, but I really, really enjoy this in the kitchen. I have the wallflower burning right now. It's just, it's cozy and it definitely reminds me of fall. So if you haven't, check out Coffee and Whiskey from Bath and Body Works. So another one that I'm currently bur burning, this has been out for a while, but this is the first time I'm actually picking up. We have Sweat the Weather. I don't know why I avoided to pick this one up, but I'm like, you know, I think, I don't know if I necessarily care for scents like sage and eucalyptus, but I'm like, let me try it. Just set the mood, the vibe, stress levels, keep them at a minimum burning a candle like this. So I decided to purchase one candle of Sweather Weather and you have fresh sage, juniper berries, aromatic, eucalyptus and fresh woods. I didn't mention the notes for coffee and whiskey, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try something different that I typically burn. And on, on cold, it smells pretty good. So we'll see when I actually burn it, what it's giving. But this is a staple of Bath and Body Works. So definitely wanted to try this out for the first time. That's Sweater Weather from Bath and Body Works. So next up we have from Bath and Body Works still, Sunrise Woods. I absolutely love this candle. This is, I ha actually have some from last year. This is something I will always stock up on just because you never know you love something and then a few years later, it's not there anymore. And I will be very, 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 very annoyed Bath and Body Works if they got rid of this because then we're gonna have to fight for real, for real. But I love this, this smells like fall. I even have the wallflower for that too. It's currently in my room, but it's a creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. It is beautiful. The throw is amazing. It's just really, really cozy and creamy and, and sweet. I just, I love it. So do yourself a favor. If you love something cozy and creamy like that, check out Sunrise Woods. I promise you this one is a banger. Again, I have a million and one of these and I'm always gonna purchase it. So check this one out. We also have, I think this is the last one that I have from Bath and Body Works, Sweet Whiskey. Another one that I really, really love and I actually like have the, the body care. I love this too. This is, this is very full light. This is a beautiful package and you know, they change it every year. Um, this is really, really good. It's just, it's kind of gourmandy, but not a little a little booze. Beautiful. And the throw on this is amazing. Another one that I will always stock up on. Like those two cents for the fall, we will always have this in, in here. I wish they had the wallflower. For whatever reason, they still haven't released that, but this is really, really good. We have in the notes here, golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey and sweet red berries i think the, so it looks like the common theme actually with all the candles i think i enjoy red berries or some type of berries burning that i think makes it really really good for um a candle so 
Another one you have to check out, Sweet Whiskey from Bath & Body Works. So we got Bath & Body Works out of the way. Let's get into Homeworks. I bought how many? Just four. It was a huge candles. It was a really, really good sale around Labor Day. I believe it was 30% off. So I was like, oh, bet. <laughs> I need to stock up on my Halloween candles. So really, really excited to purchase this. It took a while for the, these to come. And I know the couple of times that I've purchased from them, it... They come pretty quick, but maybe because it was a Labor Day sale, it took a minute. But nonetheless, they came and the packaging per usual is beautiful. So let's get into the first one. We have Cozy Wood, no, not Cozy Woods, Cozy Weekend. Beautiful packaging. I don't know, the notes didn't necessarily scream out to me, but something about Cozy, that's the vibe that I'm going for. I've had a really, how can I put this? a different type of two years i know but you would think a week or month or year but no two years has the past two years have been really eye-opening and an experience that i've never experienced before so i'm all about coziness being comfortable being at peace so that's what drew me to this so we'll see but the notes in this is cozy woods roasted almond and clover honey and vanilla when i first smelled this i got kind of like a buttery type of vibe to this i don't know i smell the almond and honey but something about that smells a little buttery so i hope i i don't really care for a buttery scent especially for my room or the living room or anything like that so we'll see but it doesn't smell bad at all but i don't think this would be something i would immediately gravitate to if I, if I saw it, if I can go back, I probably, and I smelled it, I probably wouldn't put it for purchase, but we'll see. It might surprise me. But that is Cozy Weekend from Homeworks. Then, uh, then we have Possessed Plum. I mentioned this, I had this last year. Really, really, really enjoyed this scent, so I had to definitely re-up on that. This year, again, for a four-way candle, I'm expecting the throw to be amazing. I smell it in the next apartment, but that's not really the case. But it is a really, really beauty, beautiful scent that I for sure want to burn again. So, you know, just just understand that even though sometimes you see a four-way, it doesn't necessarily mean it's it has amazing throw. We have the notes of black plum, wicked cherry, spell binding, incense, and patchouli. So if you haven't checked this one out for Halloween from Homeworks, check this one out. So as I mentioned earlier, I mentioned in my other videos, I mentioned on social media, I'm obsessed with the scent of coffee right now. So I'm on the hunt for perfect coffee scented fragrances and also candles. Homeworks has espresso martini. Now, this I'm excited to burn because let me tell you something. When I smell this, this smells like I'm walking right into a coffee shop. It's not infused with any type of liquor like coffee and whiskey. It just smells like a coffee shop. Now, it does say martini, so maybe there is a hint of... Let me look at the notes, actually. We have freshly brewed Italian espresso, cafe all, cafe all latte liqueur, rum and whipped vanilla froth so it does have little alcohol infused notes but i don't really get that maybe once it's burned i'll probably smell it a little bit but this smells like i'm walking right into someone's coffee shop and i'm obsessed so i think this is the one and if this is the one homeworks don't you dare release something and then next year it's not there because i will come after you too so if you're a coffee lover like myself, at least the scent of it, check out Espresso Martini. So the last candle, I was gonna say fragrance. The last candle that we have is Haunted Apple Nights. This is one of their Halloween scented candles. And that's the, the note sounded interesting on here. Crimson, apple, blood orange, black, vanilla, and blackberry. Um, again, I, I think I enjoy scents in regards to my candles, berry, cherry, 
So I was intrigued by this. I will say when I first opened it, if you're familiar with leaves or is it a harvest gathering, one of those two from Bath and Body Works, I got that vibe when I smell this, which is no problem for me because I enjoy those fragrances. Um, funny enough, even though this was part of their Halloween line, I get more of like November towards Thanksgiving type of vibes with this. So we'll see. I may not even, honestly, probably won't even get to, to burn this for this month just because one, these candles are huge. And if you're burning it for what, a couple of hours at a time, that I'm not going to get through four, <laughs> five candles at least. Well, we'll see. I put them all around the, the apartment. So we'll see. But if you haven't checked out their Halloween line, it's October. Make sure you do. Same thing with Bath and Body Works because obviously once the month is up, they're not going to have it until next year. So you want to check that out. And that is my video, by the way. Thank you so much for watching. You know what you got to do. Like, comment, follow, and subscribe. Let me know if you're a candle person like me and what you're burning, what company I should check out, or is are these are the brands that you typically buy from, and what do you buy? Uh, like I mentioned, definitely get go and check out these websites. I know there are sales going on right now. I don't know. I was going to mention a sale, but by the time I, I release this, this probably might be a different sale. So, but I'll put it up at the bottom somewhere, but definitely check that out. And always remember the best compliment one can get is that you smell so good and your place smells so good.